defend p5 for the moment there's a shot at a turn number two is the o5 machine is going to push him down the straightaway behind them chandler smith to the inside of bull oh and he's going to turn him the 46 with a slide job he gets dumped ellis is involved again no yellow in the heat races but taking exception to the slide job was brennan pool our green flag flies underway all is going to keep it out in front for a second and we're already wrecking behind Garcia is involved, so is Burton, the 11 car also. Yeah, we've got a multi-car incident back there, but obviously we stay green up near the front of the field. Your top three, Evan, were able to get single file, and that's where everything broke out for position number four. As Joe Graff is off the racetrack as well in the 80 into the inside wall. So fun inside by side for second. Brown on the inside of Mills, but it's not going to stick. Yeah. We saw Brandon Brown up on that outside line in his heat race, trying to battle with Bailey Curry, and now he's got position number three away as they drive it down the front straightaway. Top seven are single file. Got one around, that's Jeff Burton and J.J. Yilly. And just caused a change for the lead. Matt Mills just got through, has more trouble behind. If it is way checked up as Burton stayed in that preferred lane and your new race leader is Mills. Krauss on the bumper now. You can see Ryan Ellis. He will try to make a move on Mills. It's Mills 1, Krauss 2, and Ryan Truex in third lap traffic. Oh, and Mills going to get turned. Matthew Mills from the lead is collected by traffic as he could not clear the 80 off of the corner. And this race is just taking some wild turns, let's just say that. Let's take a look at this quickly here, and you'll see. Lap traffic's trying to stay up the high side. They couldn't see where they were going, and then he try, drifts down the racetrack trying to avoid the wall. Every prelim race so far tonight, we'll see if the 05 can hold that trend. The pace cars off it in, they'll slow up the field. Curry's gonna get turned. Stenzel into the back of the 05, and your pole sitter already wrecks. It's Landon Huffman to the race lead from second. Of him got hit by Ekis, and your race leader wrecks out before even getting a crack. Another spit it out. It's Ekis on the back straightaway. Hit rhythm, or else you're going to be losing a ton of positions and quick spinner in the pack. Somebody's around in the middle of all of it as lap number one. It comes to a close so far. No yellow. We'll see it. First time a wreck on the front straightaway. He was trying to get into a good rhythm as cars were having problems in front of him. The problem is Landon Huffman, one of the lap cars, ended up accidentally taking around Garcia. That pinned Garcia around the wall. Then there's Jeb Burden saying hello by accident, smacking hard into contact. Stort Friesen also collected in that. And I think you want to be stuck up against the wall for, and that's a tough break for him. That's going to take him, uh, not only him out of contention, but I think a lot of other drivers as well. There's the longer shot. You can see the wreck before, and he's holding the brake, holding the brake, but no room for Burton to get on to buy as he's side by side. There's more contact as well, and a lot of heavy contact at a four puts us under this first caution flag. Uh and we got a four car on the outside, little contact, CB down to the inside, hits the wall, comes back out to the racetrack, LeBay hits the wall, we've got cars spinning all around the 19, involved in it as well, no caution yet. It is the big one at Bristol as it is a parking lot and the caution flag is out. Right off of the restart, we saw the fresh tires. Justin, the car you're looking for is that first all-white car down on the inside. Right there's the contact. He almost came up a little bit, but then as he tried to save it, they all funneled up. And there, the 19 at Derek Krause gets turned by Anthony Alfredo. And when he is in front of the traffic, it is a huge pileup start once again but take a look at chase more trouble behind him Awuji got turned no caution Awuji's into the outside wall three four other cars are involved will it be clear though by the time the race leaders are on through it looks like they're rolling cook the leader challenged now by chase cabry and a caution flag is out you could see that there were still cars on the apron but another big one and down the back and it is a couple of cars that involved Chandler Smith. I, I mean, they were beating it bang and some more. Let's watch the replay. Watching that 46 car on the bumper of the 93 of Snyder. And as they come across the start footage line and go down into turn number one, there's the contact as the 46 of the Smith gets into him, turns by at Snyder around. Most cars were able to get by high or low, unfortunately. Look and that is huge. LeBay was the fastest car out of that top three, it looked like here. But this is what happened right here. Huffman, we've seen how quick he's been. 
He's in the mix of this traffic of cars and then has to check up because the car was spinning and he gets collected. Warrington Brown also gets collected as well in the checkup process. It was Myatt Snyder who was turned around. You could see his tax layer machine. He up positions in the middle of the pack and we got another big wreck at a turn number two. Couple of the cars spinning its way behind the race leaders. So far, no yellow. Brandon Brown involved. Jeb Burton involved. Leaders coming on the scene. They are not yet clear. There is the caution flag. Again, we can 75 to go. Here's the second look. And you see the cars are running down the bottom side. The reason these cars went all the way to the bottom of the racetrack here, though, Evan, was Ruben Garcia got very loose on cold tires on corner entry. In turn, the drivers started wrecking on the outside wall, and drivers like Jeff Burton just had nowhere to go, along with Brandon Brown. And he had to throw the caution flag, though, because Brown was stuck on the top of the racetrack, struggling to get the car fired up. Car slow. He's into the wall now. And Kaz has got a problem. He can't see. Oh, he's going to get turned. Big mess in the turn one. And the 57 of Blake Cook is involved in this one. A caution flag flies. And one of the fastest cars all night is torn up. We slow it down again. And no doubt we will get a second look at the replay here in just a moment. But uh, looked like it was actually Alex LeBay. Tim, watch the 90. He got sideways in traffic. It checked up Jeb Burton, who got turned by the 75 car. Mara Huffman. Yeah, I don't think Huffman really anticipated the eight car to slow down that much, anticipating what was going on in front of him. And it looks like that left front toe might be knocked out, but that's checking everyone out. More trouble behind them. Oh, it's a big spin. Is it going to cause a caution? Alfredo's involved in it. Chandler Smith goes around, and there is a caution. Second time tonight, he's been in an incident. We've mentioned already this evening anticipation. Stuart Friesen got into the back bumper of that number 33. And there's another look through Chandler Smith's car, the JBL Audio number 46. Made contact with the 11 car in front of him. Take a look on the replay here. They're going to go off and into the corner. The 57 dives low. And I think Alfredo just contact. Hard to tell, Tim, if it was the 33 coming up the hill or Blake Cook going down the banking. But... Uh, either way, uh, not Blake Cook, sorry, the 10 adjusted Haley who came down, but they made contact, and then Blake Cook did get a piece of damage. That 57 car, not a huge.